Chapter Seventeen of Light on Life's Difficulties by James Allen. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Andrea Fiore. Chapter Seventeen Light on Law and Miracle. The love of the wonderful is an element in human nature which, like passions and desires, requires to be curbed, directed, and finally transmuted otherwise superstition and the obscuration of reason and insight cannot be avoided the idea of a miracle must be transcended before the orderly eternal and beneficent nature of the law can be perceived then peace and certainty which knowledge bestows can be enjoyed just as a child when its eyes are open to the phenomena of this world becomes involved in wonder and revels in tales of giants and fairies so when a man first opens his mental eyes to spiritual things does he become involved in stories of marvels and miracles as a child at last becomes a man and leaves behind the crudities of childhood understanding more accurately the relative nature of the phenomena around him so with a fuller spiritual development and greater familiarity with the inner realities a man at last leaves behind the era of childish wonderment he comes into touch with the law of things and governs his life by principles that are fixed and invariable law is universal and eternal and although vast areas of knowledge are waiting to be revealed cause and effect will ever prevail every new discovery every truth revealed will serve to bring one nearer to the realization of the beauty stability and supremacy of the law and very gladdening it is to know that the law is inviolable and eternal throughout every department of nature for then we know that the same operations of the universe are ever the same and can therefore be discovered understood obeyed this is a ground of certainty and therefore of great hope and joy the idea of miracle is a denial of law and the substitution of an arbitrary and capricious power it is true that around the lives of the great teachers of humanity stories of miracles have grown but they have emanated from the undeveloped minds of the people not from the teachers themselves lao tzu expounded the supreme law or reason which emits no miracle yet his religion has today become so corrupted with the introduction of the marvelous as to be little better than a mass of superstition even buddhism whose founder declared that seeing the law of karma cause and effect governs all things the disciple who aims at performing miracles does not understand the doctrine and that the desire to perform miracles arises either from covetousness or vanity has surrounded in its corrupted form the life of its great master with a number of miracles even during the lifetime of ramakrishna the hindu teacher who died in eighteen eighty six and who is regarded by his disciples as an incarnation of deity to this age all sorts of miracles were attributed to him by the people and are now associated with his name yet according to max muller these miracles are without any foundation of evidence or fact and ramakrishna himself ridiculed and repudiated miracle as men become more enlightened miracles and wonder working will be expunged from all religion and the orderly beauty of law and the ethical grandeur of obedience to the law will become revealed and known no man who desires to perform miracles or astral or psychological wonders who is curious to see invisible or supernatural things who is ambitious to become a master or an adept can attain a clear perception of truth and the living of the highest life childish wonderment about things must be supplanted by knowledge of things and vanity is a complete barrier to the entrance of the true path which demands of the disciple lowliness of heart and humility he is on the true path who is cultivating kindness forbearance and a loving heart the marks of a true master are not miracles and wonder-working but infinite patience boundless compassion spotless purity and a heart at peace with all end of chapter 17 recording by andrea fiori